Well, car started smoking and got him at the visitor center. Good stuff. So, day one was complete. I didn't really do any video on it. Took a little bit of Niagara, but made it to Mansfield, Ohio, um, on the side of the highway. So for today, day two, um, I will be going to pick up Phil. Um, for those of you who don't know Phil, he was a fellow intern at Harvard with me. Um, so I'm gonna go pick him up in Indianapolis, um, probably midday, and then head on over to Adel, Iowa to see Zach. Um, and Zach was my roommate and co-worker at Harvard as well. So yeah, should be a fun day. Um, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy my tea. Enjoy the lovely view. Soothing sounds of trucks passing by, and I'll catch up with you in Indianapolis. Cheers. No idea where I am, but it's not Indianapolis. Uh, I got there last Wednesday. Picked up Phil and got to Iowa on Wednesday night. I just didn't film. I'm still getting used to this whole filming on the road, updating every single thing that I do. Um, I'm working on it. That's why I'm here. Thanks to the Green Giant in uh, Minnesota somewhere. Here's 60 feet. So I'm going to Badlands tonight. It's the first actual day on the road, I feel. Up until now, it's kind of, I mean, it really hasn't sunk in either. But up until now, it's kind of just been seeming like a vacation, like a little weekend deal going to Zach's with Phil and I'll be back home in Andover next week. Hasn't really sunk in. Hot. I'm trying to make one. What a day. So, I'm in the park. It's totally fine. Just driving around. S super hot. Like 105 temperature, heat index, probably 110. My car thermometer was saying that it was 116 at a time. Now as I leave, I turn the car on, the car shimmies back and forth. Um, and as I start backing out of the parking spot, I just see smoke come out and I smell it, I'm smelling it. I look over at the park ranger, she's looking at me. I pull back to the spot and smoke's coming out, I shut the car off and I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, what happened? No idea. My first initial thought was head gasket or something blowing. Um, just on the phone with my dad for a while, talking to him because he used to own this car. Um, and potentially could be a belt issue. Um, like I said, it was brutally hot today. It still is, it's still 102 and it's five o'clock. 
we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and make it back to Rapid City tonight um, so I can be in an area where I can bring it into somebody tomorrow morning. So far, temperature of the car has dropped. I've turned it back on three or four times and it hasn't done the same thing. It hasn't smoked, can't smell anything. So knock on wood, um, I can get it back to, to the city. Yeah, one week in, car troubles. Beautiful spot to be stranded though. Little update on the car situation. Um, been to three shops so far, and none of them could help. Um, the only one with a sob technician um, wouldn't be able to help till Monday, and it's Wednesday right now. Um, so that's kind of out of the question. If I can't figure it out today, probably hightail it down to Denver. Um, so at least I'll be in an area where I have some friends and family um, in case my car needs to be somewhere for a couple days. So the information that the guy gave me at the other body shop isn't correct. So, looks like I'm going to Denver today. Wasn't the first video that I expected to make. Wasn't the first week I expected to have. That's kind of what this is, you know? Just uh, going along, rolling with the punches. Uh, living life so if you came this far you got to see some interesting stuff um, I know I didn't do a great job of documenting all of it I'm still working on it so thanks again for watching if you did watch stay tuned for more updates on not only the car but where I'm headed a little change of plans I uh, wasn't going to go south first, I was going to go up into Montana, but I'd rather be in a spot where I know people, some friends, some family, if I do really need to get this car fixed. With that, I leave you. I don't know how to sign off. I'll figure it out. <laughs>